This is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the national updates. President Arif Alvi backed Imran Khan's narrative on U.S. cipher. President reiterated his stance that the diplomatic cipher should be thoroughly investigated. Another alleged audio of Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has been leaked. The audio is released on social media platforms. It contains a conversation on the appointment of his special assistants. Finance Minister Ishaqdar, along with the delegation, has reached the United States. During his four-day visit, Ishaqdar will meet the officials of the International Monetary Fund, World Bank and other financial leaders. Pakistan and Azerbaijan have agreed to hold fast-track discussions on energy collaboration between the two countries. The bilateral relations were discussed in a meeting between Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif and the President of Azerbaijan. President Dr. Arif Alvi rejected the Matahida Qaumi movement Pakistan's claims of proposing more than one name for the governorship of Sindh. President revealed that he had only received Kamran Khan Tassori's name for the post. Government Sindh again asked Election Commission of Pakistan to delay local government polls in Karachi for next three months. ECP said by-elections will take place on October 16 and the second phase of Karachi's local body elections will take place on October 23rd. Federal Minister for Climate Change Senator Sherry Rahman revealed that more than 600,000 pregnant women require urgent health care across flood-hit areas in Pakistan. Federal Minister added that 20.6 million people are still in need of support. Up next, we have the international updates. Britain has announced to supply Ukraine with air defense missiles to defend itself against Russian assaults. It is for the first time UK will provide rockets capable of shooting down cruise missiles. Israeli troops shoot dead Palestinian teenager in a refugee camp in occupied West Bank. Clashes between Palestinians and Israeli troops broke out across the West Bank as hundreds of people have protested at checkpoints into a refugee camp. North Korea has test-fired a pair of strategic long-range cruise missiles in the latest of a flurry of drills. Leader Jim Hong hun stressed that the test-fire was another clear warning to its enemies. Indian Health Authorities has halted all production of the maiden pharmaceuticals. The step is taken after its cough syrup exported to Gambia linked to the deaths of dozens of children there. Two women brutally abused and killed as human sacrifice in India. Police have arrested three people allegedly killed the women in the belief they would become rich. Up next we have the business updates. Saudi Arabia rejected statements criticizing the kingdom after an OPEC decision to cut its oil production target. Saudi Foreign Ministry stressed the purely economic context of the oil cut. Saudi Arabia also says it views its relationship with the United States as a strategic one. Pakistani car sales have checked in at 13,000 units. Auto sales declined by 7% in September on month-on-month -on -month sales. It is down by 51% in September 2022 against the corresponding period last year. Up next, we have the sports updates. Former fast bowler Vaseem Akram suggested Pakistani cricket team ahead of T20 World Cup. Vaseem Akram said that Pakistan have a chance of winning the upcoming T20 World Cup if they control their fragile middle order. Egyptian football A. Salah creates Champions League record with fastest hat-trick. Salah scored a hat-trick in 6 minutes and 12 seconds in Champions League history. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. Pakistan's much-adored actress Mahira Khan is once again ready to mesmerize her fans with another powerful project, The Legend of Mala Jet. Khan opens up about her character, saying Mukhu Jetty is all about love. She's not an intense girl, not fighting over. Bollywood star Ajay Devgan shares the first look of actor Tabu from upcoming film Drishim 2. The events in the second film will be based from where the first film left off. Drishim 2 will release on November 18 this year. Walt Disney has announced that it will be pushing back the release dates for numerous upcoming Marvel films. Blade is now slated to premiere on September 6, 2024. Deadpool 3 has moved to November 8, 2024, while Fantastic Four has been shifted to February 14, 2025. 
The life of Britain's late Queen Elizabeth is celebrated in a new comic book by Tidal Wave Comics. The comic book covers her public and private life, big events, family scandals, and crisis. Up next, we have the health updates. The World Health Organization and European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control say another COVID-19 wave is on the horizon in Europe. Europe recorded 8% increase in COVID-19 cases in just a week. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. U.S. Space Agency NASA has announced that the double asteroid redirection test has successfully altered the orbit of the asteroid Dimorphos. The success marks an important milestone for the defense of the planet from any future asteroids that may head towards Earth.